Drugs Info Presence Scientists in Drug Discovery Number 1 Hippocrates Greek physician Hippocrates of Kos is often called the father of medicine. His contributions to medicine include detailed observations of disease and its effects, and an understanding of how health is often influenced by diet, breakdowns in bodily processes, and the environment. He is given credit for the first description of clubbing of the fingers. An important diagnostic sign in chronic lung disease and cyanotic heart disease. Hippocrates was not content to simply work on the causes and treatment of disease. He advised medical practitioners to be serious about their profession and have high moral standards. These standards are embodied in what we call the Hippocratic Oath, which doctors still swear to today. According to the oath, a physician is required to swear to use his knowledge only to save a life, not to take it, not to cause abortion, to maintain a professional relationship with patients, and not to reveal secrets given to him by patients. He accurately described disease symptoms and was the first physician to accurately describe the symptoms of pneumonia, as well as epilepsy in children. Number 2. Jonathan Pereira. Often called father of pharmacology. Jonathan Pereira was the author of the first standard, English, book on pharmacology. Namely, the elements of materia medica and therapeutics. During one of his first lectures held at the School of Pharmacy, he spoke about material medica consisting of three parts. Pharmacognosy, pharmacology, and pharmacopathia, or the history of simple drugs, pharmacy and pharmacodynamics. He was more inclined in the study of crude drugs, and it was he who used the term pharmacognosy to refer the same. And, what is pharmacognosy? It is the study of medicines or crude drugs produced from natural sources such as plants, microbes, and animals. It includes analysis of their biological, chemical, biochemical, and physical properties. He is also regarded as the founder of British pharmacognosy. Number 3. Sir James Black. James Black has been quoted as responsible for developing among the most successful agents in the history of medicine. At the beginning of the 1960s, James Black developed the drug propranolol, which is a beta blocker that has a calming effect on the heart by blocking the receptor for adrenaline. At the beginning of the 1970s, he developed the drug somtidine that suppresses the formation of gastric acid and is used to fight ulcers. Black postulated the existence of a new histamine receptor variant and developed the first antagonist for histamine-induced acid secretion, barinamide, which became the first H2 receptor blocker. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1988 for work leading to the development of propranolol and some tidine. Number 4. Sir Alexander Fleming Fleming was a Scottish physician and microbiologist, best known for discovering the world's first broadly effective antibiotic substance, which he named penicillin. His work on wound infection and lysozyme, an antibacterial enzyme found in tears and saliva, guaranteed him a place in the history of bacteriology. But it was his discovery of penicillin in 1928, which started the antibiotic revolution. His discovery in 1928 of what was later named benzyl penicillin from the mold Penicillium rubens is described as the single greatest victory ever achieved over disease. For this discovery, he shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1945 with Howard Florey and Ernst Boris Chain. Number 5. Paul Ehrlich. Paul Ehrlich laid the foundation for modern chemotherapy. Often called the father of chemotherapy, he formulated his own receptor theory of selective binding of nutritive substances and toxins. The binding of drugs to receptors was conceded by him comparatively later, and Ehrlich coined the term chemoreceptors. His laboratory discovered arsphenamine or salvarsin, the first effective medicinal treatment for syphilis. He coined the term chemotherapy and popularized the concept of a magic bilate. Ehrlich used methylene blue for treating patients with a mild type of malaria. 
It was the first account of a synthetic drug being used effectively to treat a specific disease. Ehrlich was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1908 for outlining the principles of selective toxicity and for showing preferential eradication of cells by chemicals. He shared the prize along with Ilya Meknikov. Thanks for watching. Like the video and comment and please subscribe to our channel Drugs Info to keep in touch for part 2 and other drugs information.